welcome to episode uh, 106 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Um, boy, what a previous 10 minutes I've just had. Wow. Um, I've just spilt a full cup of drink all over my desk. So if you hear any squeaking, it's because i am actually got my feet in a bit of a puddle at the moment. Um, so... <laughs> With that said, how's everybody been? Yeah, good. Um, so what we're we doing this week? Well, what we're doing is playing unplayed games uh, that we've never played from the PSP. Now I quite like the games that I had for the PSP, and I was like, oh, I really like the PSP. So imagine my surprise when I found out that I not got. A massive amount of PSP games. I've perhaps got a hundred, maybe. So, during the past seven days, I've downloaded six hundred and sixty something um, PlayStation portable games. So, we've got a whole whole load of shows we could do about the PSP. Um, so yeah. So I've got a, a few games in the list. We'll see how many we get to. Any we don't get to, we'll just move to the next unplayed PSP show. Uh, what's that in the chat room? Let's hope you don't get electrocuted. Well, it's funny you should say that because I do have a four-way extension down here in the corner. Um, it's it, it, a little bit damp. It's a bit damp. Um, it was sitting in a puddle. So I've lifted it up. i am just hung it. On, on the on a cupboard that you can't see, just to drain off. So, so yeah, if it suddenly goes dark, then um, that's what's happened. So, so before it does that, then shall we, um, shall we boop across to the screen over there and get cracking? Okay, boop. So there you go, the PSP original slidey screen. Dual controllers. It's uh, I've never had one. Never had one. Looks kind of cool, though, doesn't it? So, anyway, um, as always, we're going to play them in alphabetical order of the order that I picked them from the list, from the for the terabyte of uh, games I've I've got now, and we're going to start. Maybe I should get you a screen while I'm talking about this rather than worrying about my socks getting wet. Um, I'm going to start with a game called Deadhead Fred. So, as always, I've, I've, not, I've not seen these games. I don't recognise any of them. Oh, except one, but I've never played this version of it, but we'll get to that later on. But I've never, I don't recognise any of these. So, um, oh, it's unfortunate we could do with a widescreen screen couldn't we really might have to speak to our um, artist in residence and see about getting a screen made just for these games because they're super widescreen in fact I've got a good mind to put it on top of the telly <gasps> and just widen it out a little bit more so you can see it it wouldn't look as pretty. Shall we see what we get? Oh, now where would I move that to? I have to remember so that I can move it back again when I don't like it. Let's see how we get on with that. If we don't like it, we can change it back. Um, okay, Deadhead Fred then. Let's have a look. Um, now, I've rebooted my computer a couple of times since... Um, we last spoke, so let's make sure we've got all of it. That looked like it, didn't it? Nah. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> okay. That's more like it. My desk is still drying off. It's making my arms wet. Okay. 
Okay. Let's have a look. Hottest threads in town. That's the No Frills Boutique, Uptown Hope Farms. If you need it any louder or it any quieter, just let me know, like as always. Dollars. Not you, now YouTube the listeners, news. sorry. Our top story, respected town benefit. If them Washington air can't see that I'm just a philanthropist who likes to spread his wealth for the betterment of the people. I'm sure this is a lot of the important Mr. story. Mr. Ulysses Pitt. Hope but. Uh, Doc, you have it ain't too much trouble? Too much? Oh, right. I suppose it couldn't hurt to let you stand up. But please, take it slowly. Your equilibrium isn't what it used to be, is it? Afraid I wouldn't know. Whoa, now. I said take it slowly. You've been through quite a lot. So, you don't remember anything? Nope. Tell you the truth, Doc, my brain feels like I've been on a two-week bender. Everything's kind of hazy. Not terribly surprising, really. Fairly common side effects. What with you being dead and all. Uh, just a damn minute, Doc. Just, just, just stop. Stop. What do you mean, dead? Let me put it to you as simply as I can. Your name is Fred. You are, or were, well, are, a private investigator. You are, or were, investigating my boss, a former boss, one Mr. Ulysses S. Pitt. Pitt? That rings a bell. Yes, not surprising. He runs the whole town of Hope Falls these days. Well, Mr. Pitt found out that you were snooping around and thought you were getting too close. So he set you up and had you killed. And where exactly do you fit into this grim picture? I was hired by Mr. Pitt to help bring his nuclear power plant online. Had I known that he was going to cut so many corners to do what he's done to the people and creatures of this town. Anyway, I was on my way back here to the lab this evening when I found your body lying in the sludge dump behind the power plant. I brought you back here because I thought perhaps I could help. I guess I do owe you one. Whatever they did to me, you put me back in one piece again. Yes, well, mostly. Mostly? What's that supposed to mean? There's the small matter of your head. My head? What about my head? Um, well, uh, perhaps you should take a look for yourself. What the fuck? What have you done to me? Please, please, let me explain. You've got about two seconds before I rip off your head and make us identical twins. Now where is my friggin' head? Gone. They... I already do. We watched a lot. More than What's normal. Next? Controlling that. Is it still story? Jeez. Now that you're alive again, relatively, I want to run a full diagnostic. Hold the analog stick to make Fred move. Press the X button to make Fred jump. Ready then. Block by holding the arms button. Excellent. Are you ready to hit something now? Oh, you're damn right I am. Oh, yes, well, let me just... Uh, there you go. Let's see what you can do. Give him what for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, uh, so it's square, Top square. Top square. Elevator. You expecting company, Doc? 
No! Now stay put, Fred. Stay in here and be quiet, no matter what you might hear. I'll try to get rid of whoever this is. Mr. Pitt, what a pleasure, sir. What brings you to my humble manor at such a late hour? You can save the pleasantries, Doctor. I think you might have some idea why we're here. No, sir. I can't imagine why you would... Cut the crap, Steiner. That absent-minded professor routine ain't cutting the mustard no more. Really, Lefty? Mr. Pitt, I have no idea what you mean. All right. How's about I spell it out for you? That package you were supposed to prepare for me. I just got a call from Sammy down at the taxidermy shop. He said there were some missing pieces. Well, I, uh, I don't know anything about that. I see. Well, you can understand how that story might upset me. Or we're just gonna press you know, I like people to follow my orders and not do... Oh, I was gonna say, shit. Maybe he was in a hurry. With pleasure, boss. Oh, uh, see, they're making me press shitloads of buttons now. Art attack special. Back in here. Something like that. Something like that. I can't get it. I can't get it. Okay, so we probably didn't need to come back in here. So it this way. really wanted that to go upwards. Change the head back to something less stumpy. How do we do that? If you wonder why, um, 
kind of like I'm jumping when I should be opening doors and shit is that I have buttons laid out like this with X, Y's and A's and B's and shit and I did look they're not where I expect them to be they look down oh up in there uh, shiny things shiny things mean you interact with them Oh, I see. So, let's go back to Stompy Head. Only interaction, really. I mean, it says that's the right head, doesn't it? There we go. Don't quite know whether we're supposed to be pushing it. Oh, oh. It arrived by courier in the box. I examined it and sent it off to the taxidermist as you instructed. Uh, what about the brain and the eyes? The taxidermist just throws those away. Uh, I figured I'd save some time and throw them in the sludge dump. What about the body? Yeah, Egghead, what about the body? How am I supposed to know? I never saw the body. You only ship me the head. Why don't you go and look in the sludge dump where you left? Uh... How do you know the body was in the sludge dump? Uh, well, uh, uh, that's where you put all the bodies, isn't it? Uh, you said it yourself. Yeah, I suppose I do with that. I am a creature of habit. Here's me sneaking around quietly like this. I've told you everything I know. I'm betting I can remind him of some other things he knows. No, no. I'm prepared to give the good doctor the benefit of the doubt. Thank you, Mr. Pitt. I appreciate it. Don't mention it, Doc. You've been very valuable to me and to my organization. But, alas, since the nuclear plant is online, I think your contract has reached its uh, termination point. Yes, it, exactly. What? Lefty, I think it's time we introduce the doc here to the horseman. The horseman, you say? Would that be the headless horseman? Uh, the one that lives in the woods past the graveyard? Damn, doc, you ain't got to shout. Of course I mean that horseman. You know about some other horseman? I don't. Guess we're going to the woods. Now, come on. Let's get this over with. Anyway, uh. how do we give 
give ourselves the juice. Oh, do you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be big stompy guy, should I? Go back in it. Can't make the camera go the other way. How do I get in these anyway? to pick them up, wouldn't you? The steps. Piss off. He's quite the runner, isn't he? Okay, stay still now. You know what? I think we're in our last few seconds of playing Drop Dead Fred or Dead Head Fred. That's a different game, it's Drop Dead Fred. Oh no, can we make that jump?
by it. awfully long time on uh, Deadhead Fred we've got other games to get to um, but there you go Deadhead Fred if you want to see any more of that then don't forget we do have a revisit show where we add things that we that you want to see again um, okay boop, 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 boop. okay this is going to be a weird well it's going to be an unusual one let's say um, to be honest, I've only got the vaguest idea of what um, what we're going to be getting here, and it's not very often that we get um, a game listed as coming from India. So here we are with Desi Adder Games of India. We're going to pick English. So, Games of India would suggest it's some sort of t Olympics type thing, a, a, um, sp sport maybe. Oh, excuse me. mode I feel the time we've got tonight we should play mini games and if you're really really interested with seeing the mini games and you want us to have a look at the story mode in a revisit then we can do that <laughs> I might have to put my glasses on okay so I can see kite fight I can see dance I can see. Is that Pachisi? I can't read the other ones. Kabaddi? Is that, is that Giffy Dander? Gif, it looks like Giffy. <laughs> yeah, it's not really helped. I do pull pulley a tam. Hmm. We'll start at the top and work our way down, shall we? Ah, oh, it's a bit cheesy. Both passers face blank. Oh, is it, is it actually, is it Parcheesy? Do we call it Parcheesy? Can't just keep the blank one. So what are we doing? Are we, are we... Rolling till both our things go blank? Ah, blank, not go blank. Okay. Is is that good? What's happening?
it's a well, we're playing a board game, aren't we? We're not playing a sports game. We're going to be playing some sort of Ludo. Looks like it could be Ludo. In which case, I can't play all of this. It's too boring for you. Cool dice, though. I'll pass that. Do I not get to? I don't get to choose which goatee. I um I, I move apparently. Oh well, it's all naughty goes in the chat room. I guess you need to know how to play this game in advance. Um, I, I suspected that might be the case, but we have we do have games like this in Britain. I mean, it, it is it's Ludo, isn't it? I I bet I've got to go all the way around the board and get home. Um, some people call it sorry or frustration, but I can't see it's super exciting to play a whole uh, a game for you guys to watch. A lot of grace rolls going on there. Ooh, they look like wine guns, don't they? Don't understand the grace roll part of it. Because surely that would be a six in a in a Western game. Nope, he's got one out, is he? Yeah, there you go. It's one leaving home. So, um, for those of you reading the chat, I'm wondering um, what Naughty Cost is talking about. We were talking about um, Fallout. Uh, after the, the new TV show that's come out, there's been a massive upsurge in um, players of Fallout. And on Steam at the moment, they're like two, three pound each. Uh, I've just bought... I just bought Fallout 4 with all the all the um, DLC for eight quid. So I've never played a, a Fallout before, um, and because I've got a Steam Deck, so I can play it the Steam version. But Nutty Cluster's only got a Mac, um, so she's unable to play the Steam version of it. But she's found a free way of playing it. So yay! Good old Prime Gaming. See, my concern is this guy's going to wait until I get past him and then he's going to send me back home when that happens I'm gonna quit in annoyance I'll oh, come in front of him now and 
Now we can put them in. be a choice of being able to move which one but no I have to move this one I wonder why you can move different ones and I can't Well, I'm fairly certain that there's nobody else playing this on Twitch tonight. And I don't know when you're watching it on YouTube, you YouTube watchers, but I bet there's nobody watching, and you're not watching anyone playing this game anywhere else on YouTube today. <laughs> Let's get this little fella home if we can. Is it going to make me get them all out? Oh, that would be annoying. So I could even move that second one and I couldn't. There must be a wave. There must must be. Ah! Ah! <laughs> right. There is. Dag nab it. I wish I'd known that sooner. I'd have had all these geezers out of the way. Can I take him home? Can I? No, I can't. That means that blue one's going to come around and kick me off. They're the only three that I can move. No, no, mother. Fucker. Okay, look, that's enough. That's enough. Um, I have no clue what this game is about. You must have played Ludo. Or, or sorry, or frustration, or any of those games where you've got a coloured set of counters and frustration has the pop matic dice in the middle and you move around the board and get your coloured characters home, the centre of the board, before your opponents. That's, that's all it is.
Play as goats or play as tigers. What? Look, tigers move in a particular direction by playing two goats in a row in that same direction. This is just a bunch of board games, isn't it? It is games of India, but board, board, board games of India. All right, we don't have time for that. Let's have a quick look at the other ones. Gilly or Gilly Dander is a widely played throughout Indian subcontinent. The average length of a gilly is three to six inches. And a dander is around 12 to 24 inches. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Now what? That was not very good. So, 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 so then, right. So we, what do we do? Lump it in there and then hit it. Or well, what's hit? Oh, look. Scratched. Kabaddi. Let's play as a raider. The only sport that relates closely to yoga? Wait, what? Absolutely no idea what I'm doing there. Cabity, 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 Ah, the cover in the chat room Voicing what my brain is thinking Fly a kite or fight a kite? I think we've got to fight one, don't we? Really? We're not going to be able to do it properly, whatever we choose. <sighs> cut down six kites in three minutes without getting cut, without getting cut by losing all your strength. And how are we going to do that?
no. Tell you what I would like to say, I know, I know I don't have millions and millions of viewers, but if, um, if anybody watching this ever has played any of these games and on the PSP, I, I mean, if you played them in real life, let us know, but just, just. I know it says their controls, but I'm done. I'm done! That was Desi Other Games of India. Um Yes, my my brain, my brain is broken. Broken brain. Um alright. Wow. Um oh. Not got that proper center, have I? That must have been really irritating for all of you. Sorry. Uh, okay, let's um, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, like I say, I don't know what any of these are. I've got a couple of educated guesses, some of them, but um, mostly no idea. And and you know, that's what happens when you've got no idea. Something like that happens. Um, <laughs> okay. We're going to move on to a game called Hammering Hero. Yes, yes, I know it sounds like a dodgy film title, but um, let's see what it really is, shall we? Oh, we're so apprentice. Oh, it's locked. Why is it locked? What? Oh, no. Why are we getting a story about a small Japanese island we start off in space? just feels like the wrong tune. Hmm? That's... <laughs> Kyosuke Koromoku, what are you doing? As you can see, I'm just convincing people to sell their homes here. I don't have time to be playing with you, boy. The Kuromoku company must set their sublime plan in mo- A sublime plan? Oh, <laughs> apparently I've said too much. Minions, play with the Tamara boy. He's got energy to burn off. Whoa. I know it's lost in translation, but ooh, dodgy. Here we go! <laughs> All right, that's jump, but that's not fight. <laughs> Should have worked that out first, shouldn't we? Oh, we've got to go the other direction. Then. So we've got down the alleyway. I think we've got down the alleyway. Nope. Oh, okay. What happened there? Don't we have to sat right at the back of the time? <laughs> Alright, what am I missing? I thought if I hammered the shit out of him. We're not watching on that again. Kyosuke Kuro as you had on it. Kuro a sub oh, minion. What other things do we have if we can't? Um, 
Right. Oh, we've got the sideways on. Hammer off quick enough. So I, I should probably warn you that um, a lot of the games that I downloaded were Japanese. I don't know. Well, Japanese oh, or some such. So here we go. So even though this is called Hammering Hero, it's obviously a Japanese one. Oh, I pressed freaking jump rather than bloody. Hammering. Let me play apprentice now. So it's like, yeah, yeah, all right, mate, you shit at this. Oh, what? Storage. Stats. Saved anything, it's fine. I've not done anything worth saving. Nope, still greyed out. Well, alright. I mean, look. We've wasted a lot of time on other games. 
doesn't matter if we cut one of them short, does it? Um, okay, that was Hammering Hero. Uh, let's go for another weird one that I've got no idea what it is. Um, so, this one is called Hot Pixel. Um, mm, mm, there we go, Hot Pixel. Atari game, it says that. All right. Bloody hand don't move fast enough. What am I shooting? Did I win one? Oh my god. seen Naughty Clusters um, <laughs> comment in the chat room. What the shit is this shit? It's... It feels like it's made for somebody with a short attention span. Or ADHD. Um, I don't think we need to play any more of that, do you? That was Hot Pixel. Hot shit, more like. Um, wow. It's made my brain hurt a little bit, to be honest. 
Ooh. And we're just uh, only just nearly about uh, an hour in. Uh, okay, let's swiftly move on because that was awful. Um, right. We're at the K's now. We're going to play Chameleon with a K. Spelt incorrectly. Here we go. Whoa. Thirsty now. I don't have a drink. It's all under my feet. Starfish. It's a puzzly game. What are we puzzling? Soon, if you press X, the colour selection window will appear. Move the cursor to choose the colour and press the X button. Let's just play it, see what happens. Oh, minimise the chat room. Lick the floor. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm not that thirsty. Uh, I'm not really paying attention to anyone. So. We didn't have any idea what was happening with the last ones. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Right, so we can't move that at all. So, I'm feeling that we select the colour that's next to one we want on the way we want to go. So I'm going to go for pink this time if I can. Which should put me next to the star. And then I'm going to go red if, if I'm allowed. I think. Now she picked red, so I can't pick red. So do I pick yellow? I pick red. Oh, look how many she picked up then. Maybe I should have picked red. I'm gonna do though. It's a star, isn't it? I think we'll pick blue next. Should we pick blue next? Light blue, I mean, turquoise. turquoise. She's whooping our asses, isn't she? Uh. 
Lila should probably put yellow. Now what? Green? Maybe? I'm gonna get two with green though. Maybe dark blue. I can't pick dark blue because she's already dark blue. Now I can pick dark blue. I'm not sure it benefits me an awful lot. You know, with the old lag, you're just giving me random colours, yeah? going for blue if I can. I mean, can she steal off me? So I want magenta now, really, don't I? Whoa, hey! Colour is grey and obviously left to get red. So if I go dark blue, turquoise and red, and make like a ring.
do. So, it's too uh, gentle. I wanted green. Okay. So we're going to go yellow this time. And they're going to go red, aren't they? Oh. Come on, you can't beat that. All right, well, there you go. Chameleon. I don't think we need to play another one. I think we get the idea. Oh. That wasn't a bad little puzzle, was it? Once we got the idea of what we were doing. Okay, so... This is um, one of the games that I have at least some idea of uh, what's going on because, where is it? There it is. Um, it's called Mega Man Powered Up. Now, you know, we had a bit of a falling out with Mega Man a few weeks back just because it's bastard hard. Um... So, let's get it on screen for you. Oh, that's uncomfortable. One sec. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh dear. So, I don't know if this is a remastered game for the PSP and it's just the old Mega Manzies, um, or if it's a brand new game. So that's the original. Let's go! Alright. Let's do this. So, I would be curious if these are the same levels we just all fancy up. I'm just sure somebody Mega Man, powered up. Oh, we're gonna play it in the old new style, aren't we? 
Gun Plate and Easy too. The year 2000X. With the advancement of science, humans were able to create industrial humanoid robots. A helper robot by the name of Mega lived peacefully in the labs of the foremost authority in robotics, Dr. Light. But then, one day... Let's turn it down a little bit then. I've been looking all over for you, Mega. We've... So Mega Man... Yeah. ...is just a, it's a robot then. Yeah. Don't appear to have any attacks or anything just yet. Perhaps we drop down on two of them? No, we don't. Can't go back on Stop, Dr. Wiley. Stop, I say. Farewell. Wait. He's not going to be able to run anyway with his little short stubby legs, is he? What in... Professor... Mega? What? Please, I really want to help everyone. Mega. Hmm. All right. I understand. I don't like it, but sometimes such things must be done. I must make the necessary preparations. Bro, could you please assist me? He's gonna get his blue suit. Boink, boink, boink. Wow. I've adapted your arm cannon so you can acquire your opponent's abilities. They will then become your own, and you will be free to use them. Good. Well, professor, here I go. Listen, Mega. No, rather, Mega Man. Yes, that. Let's yes. go! Let's go! Okay. We've got shooty shooties. Oh, like that, is it?
I may have met a, a Mega Man I didn't immediately hate. And all right. Weird. Look, everyone. Please, my robots, your friends, you must, for the sake of the world. So I'm pressing buttons, I just don't know what I'm pressing. So we start with Electman. Electrifying. Ready? Let's go. Not a sign about finding a Mega Man that I didn't immediately hate. Oh, it was a gamble, but I had to take it. I gave you a bloody checkpoint.
that means, don't you? Yeah. That's enough. Mega Man powered up. Can't say that I wouldn't play it again. Perhaps would. Didn't, didn't totally dislike it. It may go it may go in my favourites folder. Sometimes when I like a game, I'll put it in my favourites folder. Have a little look later on. Um, so, what time have we got? Oh, we might get all these games in tonight. Depends if they're shit or not. Uh, okay, so we're moving on to um, Mercury Meltdown. Now, this is not what happens to Queen's Waxworks once they've been taken out of Madam's Two Swords. I have no idea what it is, to be honest. But let's have a look. Weird Tex Toys. That's a good start. Thank you. I wonder if this is actually something to do with Mercury. Do I just click on it? to Astro Labs. Okay. Oh, we've picked some games tonight, haven't we? Flipping it. Not in sorting it. I'm gonna fall off the oh So Alrighty then, it's a rolly ball maze, which is weird because we've got another one of them. Next, I think. So what have we got? We've got some sort of trapdoor. Lost a bit. Can we get that bit back? Nope. Oh, now. There's a trap door in the other direction. Shit. It looks like it's reset now, doesn't it? That's good. That's fine. That's fine. Right. Okay, let's go then. We need to move. Is that it? Do we need to be sat in the yellow? No. Right, so that wasn't the end then. That wasn't the finish line. Oh, did I have to get yellow? Ah, <sighs> don't know. It's a very disconcerting shape that's wobbling about in front of my eyes. So let's retry the level. So... Uh, 
There we go. 100% saved. 69. Grab benders turn the world upside down. That's not great, is it? So, so what then? Where do we? Only one way to find out. Oh, do we have to get a bit of each colour? Oh, what a waste of time. I didn't open that then, so where do we need to go? This bit. Why can't I get through the gate? More to point, why is it so difficult to understand? It shouldn't be difficult to understand, should it? in the top right hand corner it says that green and red equals yellow and yellow is used to open the door all right stupid game oh come on let me out let's restart that level Finished, wait. I finished. Don't understand. I got the gate open. Did I not get the star? Nothing else to get, is there? One more time, and I can turn it off. Red. Oh, piss off. Right, green. Back to red. Right, red. I don't understand. No, no, I don't. I don't want to. A stupid game. Um, so, I do have three left, but we're not going to play all three. We're going to play one. 
and we're going to move the other ones to uh, our next unplayed uh, show. I think it all depends on this next game, quite frankly. <sighs> I don't have very high hopes, for the rest, considering the rest of the uh, the games. Now I've got I downloaded 600 of these. I hope they're all better. Um, this one is called Patapon. P A T A P O N. Not I feel like I've been really pat upon by all you people. Um, so I've got an idea. Can't even hazard a guess. The one that I could hazard a guess. We might not even be playing tonight. Ah. Oh. Oh, I think my floor's nearly, well, nearly dry. Pressing start. Doing it in time with the thing, come on. This isn't going to be a rhythm game, is it? It is.
Do I only press the round one because it's only the round flag? Mechanic cross. Into the beat, you little one eyed scrot. Freaking game. We're done. We're done. Look, now it's. Oh, hang on. <coughs> oh, blah. Excuse me. Um, so it's saying do that, though. It's, it's saying. Responding good enough. Oh, well. Look at that. Look at the time. Look at the time. Let's shove across to the favourite screen of the week. Yes, that's right. We're done. It's time to take a look at the majestic beauty of the wheel. And um, give it a spin and see what we're going to annoy ourselves with next week. Ah, oh, dear. Ooh. Okay, we're going to take a rare look at the Sega Saturn. Okay. 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 Wow, Sega Saturn, eh? Lordy. See? See? Well, oh, that side. That side. There it is. Sega Saturn controllers. There. There. Look. See? One's a bag. One's an actual controller. Um. So that's next week here on twitch from seven o'clock and if you're watching it on youtube 
join us on a Monday from seven o'clock for um, for the live shenanigans. Um, so you can email us if you want retro at snugradio.co.uk retro at snugradio.co.uk snugradio.co.uk is also the website um, mostly for our 20 year old podcast it's still going but yes um, we're going to be celebrating our 20th anniversary in May in a couple of weeks a couple of weeks um, I wish we'd thought of something special to do for it but there you go um so what else is that yes so we're there at snug radio um if you're watching youtube watching on twitch you already know we're there on both places as snug radio but we're also on facebook twitter tiktok as snug radio surprisingly enough and um we have a facebook group a separate facebook group page not group anymore it's a page so you can join us there um we also have a discord if you'd like to come and chat and see what's going on in the discord server um then there'll be a link in the show notes or wherever you see this video um also nutty cluster who's been in the chat room all, all evening with me um moderating she has a design shop yes she does uh, it's got some super cool designs in it and it's called Inkyspiration. And um, it should really like it if you went over and bought something. Preferably lots of somethings and some expensive somethings. She should really like it. It'd make her super happy. So, you know, if you're a, a crazy billionaire and you want to make Nutty Cluster super happy, she deserves it. Um, then buy things from her shop, Ink Inspiration at Redbubble. I also have a shop. I have a shop on Redbubble and a shop on Threadless. They're both called Glorious Idiot. And uh, we're just in the process of releasing a whole bunch of cats drinking hot drinks. Or making hot drinks, even. I've got one coming up next week of, of a barista cat. Um, so... They're pretty good. They're um, that's you know, had had sales already from them, and they've only been up a week, so that's good. Um, but if you're the same eccentric billionaire, and you'd like to donate the show, uh, an Apple Vision, then that would be super cool. Thanks. Um, just get in touch at retro at stockradio.co.uk, um, for the delivery details. That would be great. Oh no, she's got a speeding ticket. Oh. oh, God. So there you go. She needs many, many uh, expensive items bought from her shop just, just to break even now. So do the right thing. Um, <laughs> and that's probably about it. I've told you about the Discord. I've told you about the shops. It's time for me to go. I think that's it. It's time for me to dry this floor and perhaps give it a mop so it's not sticky because of course, of course I had cordial in the drink. It wasn't just a cup of water. Uh, at least it wasn't a cup of vodka or something. But there you go. Um, so, there you go. Uh, I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Bye.